Hey y'all, welcome back to Moments with Miss Amy. I am so glad you joined me. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about creating. I have been on this, I don't know, this journey, this adventure, whatever, and I have been in the zone creating. I'm in the process of creating the outline for my first book. That's super exciting. I cannot wait. I will definitely keep you updated on it. And then I'm also in the process. My daughter and I are doing a live event, which we will definitely drop the info for you on that as well. Come and see us live. September 17th, 2022 is going to be our first live speaking event. We've got some guest speakers that are coming in. I can't give you any of the info on it yet. Still in the works, but I've been creating like the outline for the timeline, and getting things all set. We've been figuring stuff out, making our plans. Uh, we're about to get set started with uh, creating through Canva the different things that we need to with flyers and, you know, just everything. And so it's like my creative juices are just like, like way up there. I am just loving it. And I totally feel like that that is one of the things that God has really poured into us is the love to create. Because I don't know about you, but when I'm creating something, my energies get so high. I feel so good. It's so much fun. And it just, I don't know, I just get super focused in it and, and just, oh, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And so I watch other people with the same thing when they show something they created or when they talk about something that they have created and just how incredible you can tell how good they're feeling with it and how, how excited and how proud they are of what they're doing. And I can remember back years and years ago when my daughter was little and she was one that like legit, I could be working in the kitchen doing different things, set her at the table, give her scissors, glue, and a bunch of paper. And this child could just like create anything, right? And so I remember one time how she actually managed to create this figure out of paper and how excited she was to share it with me and show me. And she's like, mommy, look. And, and it had arms that could move and whatever we had. Uh, I think we had some of those little push pen things that you put in and you bend them. I don't remember what they're called. But anyway, so that the paper could move. Oh, it was so much fun. She had a great time. I have no clue how long we kept that for. Um, probably lost it somewhere along in the moves because I know I haven't seen it. But it was really a lot of fun to see her. And she would have so much fun having all of these things around that she could take from and create. And over the years, as I've babysat other children, as we had our son, our daughter's grown, things like that, over the years, I've watched how often when things are put out for people to work on to create, how they can slip into it, how last year, we had at the kitchen table, had my grands along with my son's girlfriend at the time. And I just had like paper out there and colored pencils and whatever. And they were all like just chatting away. But as everybody was working on their own paper, doing their own drawings, doing their own creations, and then talking with each other about what they were doing that got them talking about, I don't know, like video games and anime and whatever, you know, but, but it's so fun because there was just such an energy going through there and how great they felt. And then it even takes me back to like when I was with my mom, when she was living with us or when I would go and visit her in the beginning and, and how we would sit and color together. Because by giving her the crayons and the paper, she would just begin coloring. And I know that there's some research that talks about how great it is, you know, for Alzheimer's patients to color and also how great it is for us, even as adults. I know you guys have seen more and more of those adult coloring books because it really is therapeutic to sit there and just color and draw and color and draw. And so thinking about that and all of that creation, it got me kind of thinking, isn't it incredible how we all are given that innate I don't know, stirring within our souls to create. So I got a scripture to share with you on it. You knew I would. And that is Revelation 4.11. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. So isn't that incredible how we were created and now we are creators. How we can create, like I was talking artsy stuff, but it's not just artsy things, okay? Music, 
is another one. I've seen people create music. I've seen people create beauty in landscape, in parks. I've seen people create positiveness in a room when they step in and their energy and their positiveness touches other people and suddenly you see everyone doing better and feeling better. And I just love that we have that ability. So what I want to drop to you right now is for you to think about what are you creating? Because you know something? We also have the ability to create negative. Yeah, we do. We can take any story that's in our head and take it and give it a awful spin and create it into negative. Suddenly it goes from someone saying, oh, yeah, that's nice. In our mind, now we're thinking, oh, they only said that. They didn't mean it. It looks bad. It isn't good. I didn't do that well. I'm not good at this. And we begin, boom, that negative self-talk down there. But we have that choice. We have that choice to create negative. We have that choice to create positive. Why would we take it down a negative? I don't know. I really don't. I did something like, I don't know if you were expecting me to have an answer and say, oh, this is why. This is what's going on. I don't have that answer. I can only tell you that you can learn not to do that. You can learn to change your story because I want you to realize your life is your story. You have that ability to change it. You're writing the next chapter. Choose how that chapter is going to look. Choose how your story is going to go. If you don't want it to be some negative, soppy, sad, depressing thing, don't. Legit, don't. Just stop. Think about it, take a breath, and change your story. Because you have been created for such a time as this. And it's your story, you have every right to change it. Now, I'm not talking about getting up and saying, you know, okay, I'm out. You know, like, this relationship isn't working and I just don't want this in my story, I'm gone. Um, I'm not saying anything like that. But what I am saying is, when you wake up in the morning, you can stop waking up going, oh my gosh, I have to go to work today. Oh, I don't feel well. I don't want to go in. You don't have to wake up like that. You can wake up and when that starts, you can stop yourself. You know what? I am grateful I have air conditioning. I'm in Florida and it's hot. I have my air conditioning turned off so I can tape this video. And so it is kind of hot back here right now. But <clears throat> on a normal, I wake up, I can be grateful that I have air conditioning. I can be grateful if I'm working a job that I have that job because that's gonna bring in the finances that I need to pay that air conditioning, right? It's all in perception. It's all how we look at things and it's all the story that we create in our head, the story that we share creating out there. And it's the words that we say, the things that we think. We have been created to create. The question is, what are we creating? So I want you to know that I believe in you and I believe that what you've got inside of you can give you an incredible story. And I believe that you have every right to chase that story, that outcome that you want. Maybe somebody's told you you're not a great singer, but you'd always dreamed of being a singer. I'm sure even on YouTube, there's free videos, even if you can't, you know, at this point, invest in a, a coach to help you with the singing. But if you really want to do something, do it. Don't hold yourself back from it. It's your story. If you want to be an artist, practice, practice, practice. Learn from others. Find mentors. Again, get on YouTube. Find people who are instructing that. Besides for YouTube videos, there's probably stuff available on Udemy. You know, other courses that are out there that you can get. The only one holding you back from what it is that you want 
is you. And I know that's strong, but it's true. And I believe in you. I know you can do it. So I want you to stop and think today. After this video, give yourself a little bit of time. What is it you want? How do you want your story to turn out? And what do you need to do to get there? You guys know me. I'm a paper and pen kind of person. Grab out a piece of paper and a pen. Start jotting down what it is you want. What is it going to take to get there? You're not going to be an overnight success, most likely. Most anybody who's been an incredible success has put in lots of time and hours and practice and effort to get there. But I don't care how old you are, you still can start making those changes and moving that direction. I can't tell you where to get the information. I just know I've heard it previously. Colonel Sanders with Kentucky Fried Chicken started Kentucky Fried Chicken at like 80, okay? So you've got the time, but don't push that time off because none of us are promised tomorrow either. So yeah, you got time, but you need to get about it. You need to get busy. But what better way to spend your days than making sure that you are dreaming and that you're working on that dream? Yeah, it's good. Because like I said in the beginning, I got some great stuff going on. Between the blogging, the book, this, the YouTubing, <laughs> the live event, Y'all, I'm chasing my dream and I'm running it down hard. This is my story and it's going to go in a positive way. And I'm having fun all the way along the line. So join me. Get out there. Chase down your dream. Change your story for the positive. When a negative starts to come, stop it. Rethink it. Make it a positive. So that you're feeling good as you're out there on your adventure, chasing your dream and writing your story. So leave me a comment. Let me know how your story's going. Let me know what dream you're chasing. Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget there is that bell. You can click that to make sure you know when the next video drops. And I want to thank you again for joining me for Moments with Miss Amy.